So good day everyone, my name is August Maiti Esperanza, your tour guide for today. So welcome to the Royal Palaces of Abame, Benin, Africa. So did you know guys that the Royal Pal Palaces of Abome is one of the UNESCO World Heritage Site in the country of Benin? The Royal Palaces of Abome consists of a number of different palaces built in roughly the same area by the kings of the kingdom of Abome. So, the royal palaces of Abome are the major material testimony to the kingdom of Abome which developed from the mid-17th century in accordance with a percept enunciated by its founder, Wigbaha, that the kingdom shall always be made greater. So, under the 12 kings who succeed from 16. 25 to 1900s, the kingdom established itself as one of the most powerful of the western coast of Africa. So, for us to appreciate more the kingdom of Abome, the palaces of Abome, let me, let me introduce to you, let me explore with you the historical the historical structure of the palaces of Abome, about the slave trade riches royal palaces of Abome. So the kingdom of Abome was notoriously bloody and engaged in human sacrifice on a fairly massive scale. Thousands of people would be sacrificed on a certain events, often to commemorate the conquering of a people or victory in decisive battle. So... As you see it in the picture, that the beautiful coast of Benin in West Africa was formerly known as the Slave Coast, left from here a slave for the Americans and Caribbean islands. So next structure is the monument on the beach is called the Gate No Return. The relief on the monument shows chained slaves being loaded on a ship over a period of 300 years, more than 1 million people were sold and transported from here as a slave. So, as you can see in the picture there, there are many people that is sold as a slave from different places. So, the town of Abome is situated, situated about 100 kilometers from the coast. It used to be the center of a power. So before, this town is very powerful among the others. So the next is the kingdom which gained its immense wealth and power by selling slaves. These seizures of royal palace building can be found inside this large complex. So the royal palaces of Abome were built by the dynasty of kings of the Ahome kingdom over 250 years starting in the 17th century. This kings, this is the king's resident. As you can see at the picture, here is the king's resident. So the relief on the wall shows a man in a battle discapitating his enemy. So as you can see the man who is holding a head of a of the other person and holding a a sword. I don't know what kind of sword is, is this. So the kingdom of Ahome conquered the surrounding tribe and took captives the kings and sold them into slavery. This wall relief depicts a throne resting on the heads of a man. It symbolizes the king's absolute power. So as you can see, there is a carvings in the wall that shows uh, the head of the man carrying a certain, a certain throne that shows the power or symbol of king's absolute power so next so next is the among the other riches the slave trade earned the king's guns and cannons from european merchants 
the kingdom of Ahome extended its territory with the help of these weapons. So these are the cannons inside the palace. So they become very wealthy by selling by selling people to the Europeans as a slave and use wealth by by buying Western firearms to further expand their territorial roots. So the next is King Vali Adbur. Descendants of the Dahomey kings arrives with his wives and servants. He faces the descendants of the slaves and explains how the field how he feels about his ancestors' actions. He says the responsibility for his tragedy belongs to Western people and to them. And he apologizes for what happened. So, let me explain to you guys why is the Palace of Abome is considered as a UNESCO World Heritage Site. So, this is the criteria. The royal palaces of Abome are a group of monuments of great historical and cultural value because the condition that led to their erection and the events they have witnessed. So the other criteria is the is it is organized as a series of courtyards of increasing importance. The access to each being provided by portals built astride the walls of the main enclosure. Closure, the royal palace of Abome are a unique architectural ensemble. Done. So let us also know the integrity of this palace as part of the UNESCO World Heritage. So an inventory drawn up in 1995 with support from the World Heritage Center identified and mapped 184 components. Similarly, the dimension of the property were rectified from 44 to 47 hectare and its boundaries protected by a clearly defined buffer zone. So let us also know the authenticity of the palace. So the authenticity of the site is based on the continuous functionality of the palace, the more or less regular celebration of traditional ceremonies and the organization of rehabilitation work on a buildings for special events respecting traditional know-how strengthen the authenticity of the site. So let us also know the protection and management requirements of the Palace of Abome as part of the UNESCO World Heritage Site. So, so the adaptation and the formulation of law number 2007-2007 20 of 23 August 23, 2003 on the protection of cultural heritage and natural heritage of cultural significance in the Republic of Benin and the decree on urban planning regulation of the buffer zone of the site listed by the city of Abome in 2006 provide a secure framework for the protection of the property. So that is all for today guys. So thank you for for being with me and listening to my to my tour guiding and I hope you enjoy our tour. That's it.